So yeah, I'm just uh, pinching and wiggling. I'm gonna make a nice little divot, hopefully. Jeez, man. And this pipe. Oh, my little dikes. Make a little groove. Make a, yeah, make a, yeah, make a little channel. I'd be using my fingers on it a little bit, but I just had heat on it, so I don't want to. I'll just pop that sucker over there. Do the same thing on this pipe here. Do the same general location. There you go with the French accent again. I right, I'm gonna pull it out for this. Lacest. <laughs> It's a little, a little difficult, especially because I'm trying to show you and I got a camera in my freaking thing. <laughs> it's difficult. You really gotta pinch it to get it to cut. A better set of dikes would probably help. And don't use your cheap Harbor Freight ones. Where's my baby dikes? Thank you, baby dikes. Over there somewhere. Oh. Uh, well, I don't know. I had to pick up the settling. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Alright. Let's see how that works. We might have to make the grooves a little longer. It's actually best if you do the grooves on this side, so it's just, you know, it's kind of angling out of the larger pipe. Uh huh. But, uh, as I said before, I was doing a thing that I didn't want to do, but I did it anyway. I missed. I missed. Kind of the principle behind this action. On top of bends, but you don't want to bend it too much. I'm gonna have to heat it up a little bit to get it to sit right. <sighs> Careful you don't pinch it now. Okay. Careful you don't pinch it now. Yeah. There's a bad sound tie up there. So I made the channel a little bit big. This would have been perfect if it was on the other side and just anyway. Um so then you gotta be real careful as you will see. In just one moment, I'm gonna use my special butt sofas for this one. I'm sure it has extra powers right now because it was in the butt. All right. So when you're dealing with something like this, it's kind of it's kind of crazy the way this works. You gotta really focus the heat on the larger copper. Um, you might actually end up wanting to like put this on something or tying it to something, just so it doesn't. Uh, as it gets hot, it might want to bend on you. So I'm just gonna really focus the heat everywhere else, with the capillary tubes, right? At, you know, and then we'll hit the cap tubes right at the end. The heat's going to transfer to them anyway. So 
was going to get. Okay. I'm going to have to hit the back of the pipe again anyway. Uh, but now, I'm going to pull the flame back. And it's very easy, easy into it. Real slow. Real slow. I'm just kind of filling the gap. hit it too, too vigorously on the capillary tubes themselves, they will either melt and break in half, or they'll melt and fill themselves up with their own copper. Alright, now let's just hit the back. No, your, your joint is probably going to look sloppy like mine because you had to freaking pull back the heat set. Uh, and I'm not going to use it up like mine, is it? Really? Now, uh, a lot of times, all, what I'll do is I'll have a, a friend help, uh, I'll have a little cup of water, and then I'll pop the capillary tubes, the end of the capillary tubes. Um, you know, we'll pause the video. We'll